After President Nixon hired me to be his foreign policy assistant, one of the things that I asked him was, well, why me, Mr. President? Because once I started working for him, I saw the bushels of mail he got every single day, huge things from the Postal Service, from fans all over the world and certainly all over the country. And I asked him what it was about my letter that jumped out at him. And he said, Monica, for somebody so young, you really seem to have a grasp on the world and extraordinarily good, solid instincts about politics and about the way the world worked, which was a huge compliment and still very special to me to this day. And so from that point on, we worked together uh, on his books and speeches and columns. And I was so lucky to be able to travel the world with him I was actually with him on his very last trip to China in 1993, which was a remarkable experience because even though some of his fellow countrymen held him in contempt and disdain for the way he left the presidency, the Chinese people essentially worshipped Richard Nixon, and they still do because he was so integral in remaking China and bringing it into the 20th century.